If you have two WAN interfaces, it's quite obvious to create an SD-WAN zone that will take care of the different traffic and load balance it between the two interfaces. So let's create an SD-WAN zone using the command line. Coming up. All right, so we currently have only one WAN interface which has a static IP. And let's create the second WAN interface. Let's assume that you have another ISP. So let's um, choose the role as a WAN and let's set up the IP address 192.168.11 24 and we will only be able to ping and connect through HTTPS. All right, so we have two WAN interface, WAN and WAN2. All right, let's just fix that. There it is. And now we need to set them as member in an SD-WAN zone. So let's just open up the command line. All right, so let's start. Let's use the config system SD-WAN. That's the way we start to configure our SD-WAN. And let's set the status to enable. All right, now we need to add up the different members. We will use the default SD-WAN zone, which is um, already configured on our 40 gate. So let's just add up the different members to it, config members. And let's edit the first member. And the first member is port one. That's my WAN interface. Now we also need to um, configure the gateway for that interface, which is uh, 10.100.102.1. Now let's just add up the second interface, interface number two. And the interface is at port 10. So let's just move between the different ports and let's set the gateway and the gateway is 192.168.1.254. Let's just uh, end it and all right. Now let's just uh, look at our SD-WAN zone. Let's just click the plus sign and now we can see that we have our two interfaces in it. All right, so now the second thing to do is to create our SD-WAN as the default static route. Let's just um, use our command line, config router static. Let's edit one and let's set the SD-WAN to enable. All right, and let's look at our static route. Let's just refresh the page. And there we have it. That's the default route. It is using RSD-WAN. All right, so now the last thing to do is to actually choose the algorithm that it will load balance the different traffic. So let's use again the config system as the WAN. All right, and let's choose the load balance mode. Now you can choose a uh, source IP, that is packets that are uh, coming from the same source IP will actually flow through the same interface. You can choose weight-based, usage-based, uh, source and destination, and volume-based. You can also do that. Let's just use, let's use the default one, which is source IP-based. Let's end it. And now we'll move to SD-WAN rules, just uh, click on your SD-WAN and you can see that the load balancing algorithm is source IP. If we'll change it, let's use the same config system SD-WAN. And now let's set the load balance mode to weight based. Let's end it and now let's move again to our SD-WAN rules. 
let's edit it and we can see that it is weight based all right and now the last thing to do is to create a firewall policy where the outgoing interface is the new sd when zone that you have just configured the different members into it